An Arkansas Republican named Stephen Meeks, that's this guy right here, um, he posted the most quintessential Republican thing on Twitter I've ever seen. Uh, and then he got obliterated. Twitter uh, forcibly held him to the ground and shit in his mouth. And every second of it was glorious. So, he said the following. Being poor in America is a personal choice, unless there are mitigating circumstances. A homeless man can go to school, get a job driving a truck, make $70,000 a year, and in 20 years, become a millionaire. In America, you can work hard and change your future if you chose. Hilarious. So this is bootstrapism on steroids. I love the idea. Uh, he's like convinced that there are millionaire truck drivers out there. <laughs> you can make $70,000 a year until you're a millionaire. Really? Are you aware of expenses that exist? Like, we have a student loan debt crisis in this country. Over a trillion dollars worth of student loan debt. People got to pay for transportation, car, food, fucking roof over their head. Obviously, there's a housing crisis in this country as well. And he's like, what do you mean? If you're homeless, just go get a job driving a truck and you'll be a millionaire. What? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Okay. Um, so, what's the best response to this? Well, obviously, I think my own. <laughs> But I pointed out to this idiot, half of workers in America make $30,000 a year or less. In fact, it's more than half of workers. And the bootstrap nonsense just isn't true, so stop saying it. Like, the, the idea that, oh, what do you mean? The harder you work, the further you go. That's obviously how it works. Really? Um, then why is it that you can work a full-time job and not make enough money to survive? Let me repeat that. You can work a full-time job and not make enough money to survive. See, that would indicate to me the opposite of what these guys believe. That we don't have a system based on work ethic or merit. There's no logical progression of like, well, you just climb the ladder and then everybody does well. Really? How do you explain what I just described? And how do you explain, oh, I don't know, Paris Hilton? Donald Trump? Donald Trump. This is a guy who inherited 400 Mama million dollars. By the way, as he lied about it every step of the way. The guy went bankrupt six different times, and he still became president of the United States. He's a key example of, like, inherited wealth being perceived as, oh, being a genius, or just being so good at what they do, um, being brilliant, and then that led to one of the many reasons why he ended up becoming president of the United States. This notion is just garbage. Utter garbage. Somebody also said in response to him, I love this response. Uh, Blessed is he who blames the poor for their poverty. Because <laughs> this guy's an uber Christian. And he's like, he's saying shit like being poor in America is a personal choice. It, yeah, that sounds definitely like something Jesus would say, you fucking buffoon. Uh, and then somebody else said, when wealth is passed off as merit, bad luck is seen as bad character. Damn, I love that one, man. That's so true. When wealth is passed off as merit, bad luck is seen as bad character. And then finally, uh, I love this fact because, again, it just blows up his entire worldview. The vast majority of poor people are children, elderly people, Disabled people, students, caregivers, and the temporary unemployed. So, listen, perhaps poverty shaming people is really, really fucking stupid. You know, listen, what these guys do is... They look at the world as it is. And they go, well, what do you mean... It has to make sense because it is how it is. So when you look at a situation where the richest six people in the world have more wealth than the bottom 50% combined. When you look at a situation where the Walton family, six people, have more wealth than the bottom 40% of Americans combined. When you look at a situation where 
CEOs make over 300 times more than their average worker when it used to be only like 25 times more than their average worker. When you look at that, if you're inclined to rationalize and work backwards from your conclusion, you're going to go, well, what do you mean? That's how it is. Therefore, it must make sense. And that's just lazy, sloppy, far right wing thinking. It's taking hierarchy and assuming it is by definition the only way it can be. And it's like that for a reason. Or that's not even fair. It's like that for a good reason. Whereas you and I can look at it and go, okay, let's dissect the various reasons why the system is how it is. And let's make value judgments on the different aspects of, of said system. So when you and I, for example, look at, you know, offshore uh, tax havens and gargantuan amounts of tax dodging done by uh, billionaires and by corporations, when we look at the tens of millions of working poor people in this country, we go, oh, see, that's bullshit and we can fix that and that's not something we can just casually accept. He looks at it and he goes, what do you mean? That's how it is. So it's got to make sense. So of course it's okay that these corporations and billionaires hide, uh, you know, billions of dollars overseas and people work full time and don't make enough money to survive because that's how it is. So it's obviously a reflection of merit and of the quality of person that they are. That's a genuine belief on the far right, just so everybody knows. They think like, no, what do you mean? Rich people are just better. They're just better people. Uh, duh. Well, okay. If you believe that, you believe that. But I'll tell you right now, that's way more of an Ayn Randian, um, you know, dog-eat-dog -dog world view than it is a Jesus Christ Christian-based worldview or even just a basic, decent human being worldview.